group victims here are the, are the family and the friends, and um, and and uh, and there's really no winner. It's just literally uh, you've got two, you know, three kids that are going to grow up without their mother. A Portage County man found guilty of murdering his wife and hiding her body. Thanks for joining us. I'm Phil Aldridge. And I'm Melissa Langman. A jury convicts Jason Cipher of killing Krista Cipher back in the year 2017. This night's Rashad Williams. Listen to all of the testimony in the courtroom. He has you covered. You could tell emotions were high for family and friends. The jury deliberated for less than two hours before finding Jason guilty of homicide. Form reads, we, the jury, in the above entitled matter, find the defendant, Jason P. Cipher, guilty of first degree intentional homicide. Jason Cipher sat emotionless in court while the judge continued to read the verdict. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter, find the defendant, Jason P. Cipher, guilty of hiding a corpse is charged in count two. The district attorney saying the people of Portage County spoke up. The uh, jury's verdict is a testament to showing that law enforcement and the prosecutors and the district attorney's office and the Department of Justice will go to every length to try to bring justice for someone like Krista and others. It took a week and a half with dozens of witnesses taking the stand, including family and friends, and efforts from all involved agencies for the trial to come to an end. They did a heck of a lot of work to be able to show the jury that there was a substantial amount of evidence, proof beyond a reasonable doubt, that the defendant, Jason Cipher, killed his wife intentionally and then hid his body so that no one would ever find it. The Plover police chief says a clear message was sent in the decision. That we're not going to tolerate this kind of thing in Portage County, um, in Plover and Stevens Point, anywhere in Portage County or was, uh, the state of Wisconsin. He says while the decision was in the favor of the prosecution, sadly this case affects more than just Jason Cipher. The true victims here are the, are the family and the friends and, um, and, and, uh, and there's really no winner. It's just literally, uh, you've got two, you know, three kids that are going to grow up without their mother. Meanwhile, the defense says they're disappointed and Jason will probably appeal. Jason did not take the stand at all and a sentencing date is expected to be set on Monday. The maximum sentence is life in prison. In Portage County, Rashad Williams, News 9 WAOW.